Hey guys, it's Muggy McGee and EA have released number 80 down to 61 of the FIFA 18 player ratings. The reason this video is late is because EA decided to upload it an hour late. Loads of French websites had done like the ratings, but EA on their own website didn't because it's EA. But anyway, we're going to get straight into this. If you like this video, then smash the like button, leave in a comment down below which key players are missing in this list and predict ratings of them. Thank you for watching and we first come into Jan Vertonghen who again had a very good season at Spurs last season coming second playing very well and he does have a card with high high work rates left foot three star weak foot again his pace is a bit low but he does have 85 defending and 81 physical and he's 6'2 so there's not many good left footed centre backs in the Prem so I'd say Vertonghen is obviously one of them. Di Maria who EA yesterday messed the rating up it's just EA. They had him as a Cam 84. He's not. He's a right wing 85. A 5 star skill move. So EA just don't know what they're doing. Like seriously. Whoever is in charge. Of like the marketing. Just. Just doesn't know what they're doing. But he does have 86 base and 82. Passing sorry. So a nice card. A nice card there. Next we have Felipe Luiz of Atletico Madrid. An 85 rated. He has gone up. I think. Did he used to be an 84? It might even be an 85, so he might have kept the same rating, but I'm not really too bothered about him. I'm not going to use him. Next, we have Insigne, who was an 81, now he's an 85, so big boost in for Lorenzo Insigne there with 90 pace, 89 dribbling, and 82 passing, as well as 4 star skill moves, high medium work rates. Very, very nice. Gives Napoli a nice winger on this game. Next, we have a position change of Cesar Aston Equator for Chelsea. Obviously, he was a left back by trade. Uh, last FIFA, but now he is a centre back with medium, medium work rate, great pace for a centre back, 79 and 86 defending. The only bad thing is that he is five foot ten, so not many headers are going to be won by Aston Equator. But if you have someone big next, like Vertonghen next to him, I don't think that's too much of an issue. We have Pjanic, who still has a four star skill, he's four star weak foot, medium, medium work rate, with high, high stats. He's worth being 67 defending, but he's got 86 passing and 86 dribbling. Very nice centre mid there for Juventus. And we have Jordi Alba who used to be an 86 who has gone down one rating. High medium work rates. Again he's got amazing pace of 93 with 81 defending and 82 dribbling. Very very nice. I'm sure most people choose him over Felipe Luis if you have the chance. Kalon Navas has got an 85. I think he had an 84 last season so he's gone up one. And deservedly obviously they win the Champions League and the league Real Madrid. So most of their players are going to get upgraded. Got very nice stats with 87 diving and 85 reflexes. Being six foot one as well, he could probably save most of the top corner shots, which he does face. We do have Blaise Matuidi, a new signing, who I actually predicted his rating for. Let me quickly see what I predicted him for. But this card is an 85 rated, high high work rates, left footed, two star weak foot, two star skills. I never realised it was that actual low. Um, 82 defending though and 84 physical so it's not too bad with 77 passing 78 pace and 76 dribbler let me quickly see what I predicted Blaze Matuidi's rating at 2B I predicted there you go you can see here I predicted an 86 it was an 85 so I said 80 pace at 78 shooting 70 at 67 passing 79 at 70 mate I've got the I got the physical on point and that was it so my Prediction was one rating off, but for someone like Blade Between, is a centre mid who got six goals, five assists last season. It's quite hard to predict. Next we have Casemiro, who had a nice one EA. I'm glad they've upgraded him to a decent rating. Obviously, he had an 82 rating and quite a few informs. A man of the match, a, a Champions League, what were they? Like, knockout card. He had quite a lot, Casemiro did. And he has an 85 rating on FIFA 18 with medium high work rates. 3 star weak foot, his pace has gone down, I don't think he used to be 62, but he did have 86 physical and 84 defending, so it should balance out pretty well, um, I mean him and Modric in the centre mid for Real Madrid, as well as Tony Kroos is incredible. We have Lacazette here, who I saw on a website earlier, he had 4 star weak foot, 4 star skills, but on this on EA you can see here, it's 3 star weak foot, 4 star skills, high medium work rate, 85 rated for Arsenal, with 86 pace, 83 shooting and 85 dribbling. You can tell he's just going to be a very sweaty player. Good nationality as well for the links. As like him and Kante are just going to get 
you so much. This FIFA and deservedly basically. We have Miranda of an 86 rated with 71 pace, 88 defending. You put a chemistry style on and you get his pace pretty high compared to what it is now, so that's absolutely fine. Pepe, surprisingly, he's got a high rating considering he's, he's moved down to the Turkish League. Um, I thought he might drop to an 83 or 4, but he's still got an 86 with 86 defending, 80 physical and 68 pace, medium high work rate. Pretty nice card. And David Alaba, what is this haircut? I don't have a clue. But he's got an 86 rated card with 86 pace, 81 passing and 80 dribbling with 4 star weak foot, high medium work rate, so a nice card. But like I've never used David Alaba on Ultimate Team. He's always been too expensive. Never used him. Again, he's got a good card. So I may have to give him a go if I have the coins. I imagine it'd be like 40k most of FIFA. We have Petra Cech being an 86 rated. I thought he might drop down because he has conceded a lot. And our sort of defence has been all over the place the last two years. But he does have 87 handling and 82 diving as well as 81 reflex. 83 positioning as well. So he, he's doing alright, Petra Cech. I'm glad in a way they've not downgraded him too much because it's just another solid goalie in the Premier League. Martinez, with the lack of pace for another FIFA, it, it makes him unusable. Give him 60 pace, at least he's usable. He, he, No one will use this card because of 50 pace. I just don't see it happening. He's got medium, medium work rates, but the pace is just a let down. Marco Royce, the man who's injured for half a season a lot, a lot, a lot. He's, he's always injured, but he's got a great card. 86 rated with 88 pace, 87 shooting, 84 passing, 85 dribbling. Like, wow, four star skills, four star weak foot. This is a perfect card, and like, I'm so surprised that he's not an 83 or 84 because of his injuries. But fair play. Diego Costa, the Chelsea player who is might, might move in January to Atletico Madrid. But for now, as a Chelsea player with four-star weak foot, 83 shooting and 88 physical. I've never really used Diego Costa as well, so that physical and the shooting will be key because he doesn't really have too much pace. And we do have Socrates, who, just look at that card. Medium high work rate, 6 foot 1, 78 pace, 87 defending, 84 physical. Very, very nice. I think he had an 85 rated last FIFA, so Socrates is just going up and up. And lastly, we do have Frank Ribery, Ribery, Ribery with five-star skill moves, four-star weak foot, high medium work rate, 89 dribbling, 82 pace, and 83 passing. Very, very nice, an 86 rated card for Frank Ribery there. And he is one of the five-star skillers. Do we have another in this list? Was that it? I'm not too sure. Oh no, Di Maria is the other five-star skiller. So that was the ratings from 80 down to 61. If you enjoyed this, then smash the like button, and as again, as I said, again, leave in the comments down below which rating you want someone like Kante or Rebecca.